Close your eyes, letting your eyelids fall down heavily, setting comfortably into your seat or wherever you're lying, setting the intention to fully relax and immerse yourself into this period of stillness. A time where all your focus, your attention and your mind will be in the here and now. And as you breathe into this moment, start to divert some of the focus onto your breath. Starting to notice your inhalation and exhalation. Maybe noticing the rhythm of your breath. Is the inhalation longer or shorter than the exhalation? If you notice it uneven, just start to mindfully focus the inhalation, maybe counting to four. And then with your exhalation, exhale for four. And with your inhalation, feel it coming up deep from your abdomen, up through your torso, filling up your lungs, and then exhaling fully through your mouth or your nose, whatever feels natural for you. And as you place your attention on this flow, on your breathing, you'll naturally get into a rhythm. Your breathing will even out, will become more regular. So just breathing with that deep inhalation for a count of four. And an exhalation for a count of four. With each exhalation, you're letting go of all worries, anxiety, and tension. Just releasing as the breath leaves your body. Relaxing your physical body with each breath cycle. With each inhalation and exhalation, ensure your jaw is relaxed Your shoulders have dropped down from your ears. Send your attention to your hands. Are they unclenched and relaxed? Are your feet relaxed? Feel if there's any unconscious tightness in your chest or back, abdomen. Just allow your body to relax in any of the tight spots. Talk to your body, giving it permission to let go, letting everything just fall softly wherever is natural. And with each breath cycle, with each exhalation, You can feel your physical body relaxing piece by piece. And with each inhalation, you are taking in more 
and more of the universal life force energy. That energy that energizes us, gives us vitality, it enhances our entire body and aura. So with each inhalation, you're taking in this divine energy, letting it flow through the body to all the tips of your fingers and toes, your ears. And with each exhalation, you're releasing tension and worries more and more. And now taking another deep inhalation for a count of four. And letting it all go as you exhale. You're allowing your physical self, your mental self, emotional and spiritual self to open up to the angelic realm. And as you're in that relaxed state, your guardian angel comes to stand in front of you now. You may see or sense their energy in your mind's eye, or you may just feel them there near you, emanating a loving, compassionate pink light from their heart center. Their whole aura is surrounded in a pink glow, a cocoon of love. And as they come closer to your energy, to your physical body, they merge their cocoon of love into your aura. And you can feel their pink light just permeating into your energy field. closer into your physical body, just letting yourself float in this pink cloud, this angelic cloud, just pure love. You and your guardian angel are completely encompassed in this beautiful pink cocoon of love. Continue to breathe easily allowing yourself to absorb this pure love energy. And now within this pink cocoon, your guardian angel is holding a large sponge, a sponge that you're using to tenderly wipe away and clean your physical energy and aura. a spiritual cleansing as they start at your crown, the top of your head, just wiping away any thought forms or beliefs no longer serving you, wiping away other people's energy. And their sponge is moving down over your face, back of your head. Wiping away at your neck, removing any psychic attacks. Recleaning the front of your throat. Just clearing away unspoken words or expressions. And then their sponge passes over your entire back. Down over your shoulder blades middle back and lower back, soothing, healing, mending any tears in your aura, tears that cause energy to leak as the sponge passes over, they're mended and whole, and they use that sponge over your chest, your stomach, 
abdomen, on the sides of your body, even your armpits, where sometimes people may cord into us, they're wiping it all away. And they're going down their sponge over their pubic bone, buttocks, down the fronts and backs of your legs, soothing, healing, clearing away, continuing to mend any tears in the aura. And their sponge goes right under your feet, clearing away any negative energy we might be tracking around our own or others. Maybe you can sense your energy feeling a little lighter as your guardian angel does the finishing touches. Every nook and cranny of your energy and physical body. And as they finish, they throw that sponge away into the flames of transmutation, which are deep into Mother Earth, as she transmutes all that we no longer need. And your aura is now clear, whole and complete, with no tears, no attacks, keeping your own vital life force energy within. And now your guardian angel offers you their hand. As you give them your hand, they lead you down a beautiful light-filled path. This path is leading into your own heart center in the middle of your chest. It's a glowing white path that winds down into the center of your heart. It's not a long path as your heart is right here, ready to help and guide you. So place your attention in your chest at your heart area. Start to direct your breath into your heart. Imagine, feel where that's where the inhalations and exhalations are coming from. Just breathing a few times within your heart center. If you're having trouble feeling it, ask your higher self to help you focus your attention there. Now in your heart center is a room It's a beautiful, spacious place, full of beautiful colors, decorations. Maybe there's some trees or bushes or furniture. There could be some sacred geometry in there, crystals. This is your spiritual heart place. Take a look around. Just notice what's there right now asking your higher self to show this to you. If there are some obstacles or any cloudiness inhibiting your ability to see, that's okay. We're gonna clear them today. And as you're within your heart space now, Take note of what you're feeling. Has your breathing rhythm changed? Are there feelings of any anxiousness? Or is there peace allowing you to expand into even more relaxation? Really focusing all the attention on your heart space 
just breathing again in and out of this space. You may feel pressure or a tingle or nothing. Everyone is unique. As that breath flows through your core, through your heart, maybe you start to sense your heartbeat or the collective heartbeat of others maybe in your house or in this meditation or even with the collective in the universe or Mother Earth's heartbeat. We are all connected at that heart level. Just keeping your attention, focus on the heart center. We now call in Master Jesus. Religion aside, he's an ascended master who has incarnated in a human body and experienced the challenges of such an existence. Jesus is just love, love and compassion. That's his message. That's his role here now to open our hearts. By opening our hearts, we affect the hearts of humanity, opening theirs just by being near them. So he's here now to help with the wounds or scars in your heart from your life experiences and relationships, things we don't need to carry anymore. It's a time to release, let go, and transmute these old energies, not just from other people, but also our own wounds, our own loneliness, our own sadness can weigh down our heart with these heavy emotions. And the key to slowly loosening the hold on this feeling of being alone is remembering that we are connected to all living souls and of course to God, to Source, to the angels, the spirit guides, ancestors all these high vibrational beings surrounding you constantly. Always around you, talking to your higher self, your soul self. So the first thing that Jesus is doing right now is reigniting that spark in your heart center it never really went out, but it may be diminished. And that's that divine spark connected to God and every conscious being in the universe, whether it be human, animal, nature, elementals. As Jesus takes that spark in the center of your chest, inflaming it so it burns brighter, bigger, how it's meant to be. You may feel the etheric threads connecting you to the collective consciousness. For as he works on you, he's igniting, connecting with all other beings. Every other being's divine spark is igniting from your work here right now. Spreading love, from you throughout the planet to every other human, adult and child, to every tree, leaf, bush, every mammal, every fish, every blade of grass. All the heart centers are being activated and connected now. continuing to breathe easily from your heart, 
You may see or sense this light grid spreading from your own heart into the universe, around the earth. And with this light, with this love, comes a sense of unity, of oneness, a feeling of compassion and understanding for all those that we share this lifetime with. Even your worst perceived enemy or challenger will feel this spark on a deep, deep level. And now you consciously send love from your heart center along these etheric threads throughout the planet, deep into the universe. Just sending love and compassion and forgiveness if needed. And as you do this, you shine brighter planet lights up brighter, the earth is glowing, this beautiful love and compassion connecting us all. And now Jesus places both his hands on your heart, one in front, one on the back. He's sending from his hands the emotion, the frequency, and the energy of unconditional love. Pure love that doesn't require you to do anything or be anything to receive it or deserve it. This pure love is your rightful condition, the natural way of being. This love should flow from yourself to yourself and it is always flowing from God and your spiritual team. Feel this energy coursing through his hands into you, spreading through to your soul self, your higher self, which is at the core of your being. It's flowing then into the next level, into the physical body, into the cells of each part of your body, infusing them with love. And then it flows to the next level, to your emotional self, flowing into the rest of the chakras, healing, soothing your emotions. And then it flows to the next level into your mental self, flowing into your head, to busy minds, belief systems placed there by others, or things we were taught that were not for our highest good. He's just infusing this all with unconditional love. As this allows you to emanate this pure love And as you glow and emanate this love, you soften others just by being around them. All we need is an open heart and compassion. And his love is softening and opening your heart more to ready you to release now all the things you no longer need to carry just breathe a few breaths here as he finishes his work. As we thank Jesus for his assistance, take a deep inhalation and an exhalation. As we now call in Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Shamuel comes forward with his majestic and mighty energy, the swirling ball pink and white vibration 
as he comes close to you and looks tenderly into your eyes, into your mind's eye. His energetic wings encircle you. Just receive this beautiful angelic hug as Archangel Shamuel asks you to set your intention now to release all hurts, wounds, unforgiveness, sadness, loneliness, despair, anything that is not love that's existing in your heart right now. Everything from the womb to your current age, your current self. Let him know your intention is to release everything from family, friends, colleagues, lovers, all rejections, even if they were from jobs or school or from the family unit. As you agree to release, Within Archangel Shamuel's embrace, he smiles, thanks you for that intention. As he starts to scoop out from your heart all these emotions, all the rejections, the sadness, all the hurts. He's just scooping them out, putting them into the flames of transmutation. You may see it as blobs, or he may be scooping out actual baggage or just energy. He just keeps removing all of these long-held wounds. It could be abandonment, all feelings of being unloved or unworthy. He's taking them out, placing them into the fires to be transmuted. As we allow a moment now just breathing here, allowing Archangel Shamuel to do this work. You may get visuals or feelings from the past of people who have put those wounds there. Just let them pass through your mind, let the emotions pass. If any tears come up, it's good to release. As he continues to remove, he's clearing away to allow more space in your heart. he removes these lower vibration feelings, he's removing away any cloudiness, any blocks, blocks so to your ability to receive and give love in an unconditional way. He's removing all the barriers, fears of vulnerability, fears of being hurt again. You may come back and do this again and again, allowing Archangel Shamuel to go deeper, deeper with each meditation. Everything can be cleared and he will never clear love. He will just leave pure love in your heart. He's also mending any scars. Sometimes they show up in our heart as if someone had stabbed us with a dagger or a blade of any kind. Just let it all flow out of you into his hands, going into the fires to be transmuted forever. 
And as your spacious heart center becomes clearer and lighter with this clearing, more of Jesus' love energy spreads into your heart, filling the space of where all the negative energies were, the negative emotions. Filling that space with the frequency of unconditional love, compassion towards yourself first and foremost, and then allowing that to spread to others after. We thank Archangel Samuel as he now moves aside, but ready to be called on whenever you need him. And now taking a deep inhalation. And exhalation. We now call upon Archangel Raziel and his mass of helper angels to clear up any past life and ancestral ties that is giving us heartache and emotional pain. We sometimes carry some wounds in our genes from a long line of ancestors that need to be cleared. In addition to our own past lives, where we may have repeated a pattern of being betrayed or abandoned, or did that to someone else. So we sometimes carry these feelings if the emotional impact was strong enough, causing us to repeat patterns in this life. So Archangel Raziel now draws a circle of pink light on the ground around you creating a container from beneath you and above you in all directions of time. He's lighting up all the cords and energetic imprints, first from your own past lives. You may see it as a dial he's turning. As he turns the dial, it gets stuck on the pertinent lives where there is a humongous emotional blow that disconnected you from source and your own higher self. Archangel Raziel and his legion of angels send their energy back along the timeline, transmuting these old stuck energetic impacts, dissolving them with their angelic energy And just replacing that energy with unconditional love. They can't erase the instant, but they can lessen the effect of the trauma so it doesn't affect you now. And we'll just breathe easily here for a moment. So Archangel Raziel can do his work with as many past lives as he needs to for each of us. He feels like he's done around two or three lives. So you may also return to the meditation and ask him to work on more. As now Archangel Raziel focuses on your ancestral lines. First, he brings forward your maternal line, your biological maternal line. He goes back through the generations clearing away any energetic imprints, unresolved issues, challenges that were not overcome, anything passed down genealogically that was not love. 
as angels send their light down, down the timeline, transmuting, clearing, any heavy burdens not serving you, releasing the energy holding it in place. And as that maternal line is a little brighter, a little smoother, now Archangel Raziel brings forward your paternal line, your biological paternal line. He goes back through the generations, clearing away unresolved issues, imprints, challenges that were passed down genealogically, clearing away everything but love. His angels send their light down, transmuting it all in the timeline, clearing the cell memories, releasing the energy holding it in place. And as that paternal line glows a little brighter, smoother, this effect is felt within your ancestors now. And they are also sending you thanks and blessings for allowing this healing to take place so that they also feel the effects. And as these lines are now clear, Archangel Raziel brings this newly healed energy back into your present moment, to the present lifetime. You may feel a whoosh of energy or a sense of completion. Just taking a deep inhalation and exhalation. Absorbing this newly cleansed energy along your timelines. We thank Archangel Raziel and his helper angels as they move aside. And now that you're all cleared and lighter from the past, full of the love frequency, the unconditional love, Your guardian angel and your higher self wants to remind you now of the love you have for yourself. Only the love from yourself to yourself can fulfill you, really fulfill you. Sharing love and life with a romantic partner is of course a beautiful gift. But first fall in love with yourself. Your guardian angel now brings a full length, huge mirror in front of you now. Look in the mirror, see yourself in this human incarnation as you look now, reflected back to you. You are a beautiful, perfect being. There is nothing to judge, criticize or fix Your body is strong and healthy. Your personality is perfect. Your ideas are brilliant. And you have a wonderful sense of humor and joy. In addition to many other beautiful, God-given qualities and characteristics that make you uniquely you. You have your own special set of gifts and talents for your own distinctive life path. There is no competition or comparison when you feel that unconditional love for yourself and your path. Feel your own love fill up your heart center. Even if you don't feel a lot of it now, you can continue to do this practice Just fill your heart center with your love for yourself and allow it to spread towards every aspect of yourself. 
whatever you judge yourself for or criticize yourself for, whether you think the nose is too big or I get angry too quickly, just send love to every aspect of yourself. We are human, we are perfect as we are, and ask your higher self to help you do this. Your higher self is your soul self, that eternal part of you that has lived in all the incarnations with you and knows all the future paths for you. And we ask your higher self to come forward a little bit so that they're visible in the mirror there with you. They may come from your heart or beside you. They may look like a translucent you or just be an energy or light. Just see your higher self in the mirror. However they show themselves to you, allow them to let their energy burn brighter and stronger within you. That is your true self. All the human incarnation stuff is just the outer you. Your soul self is the perfect, pure part of you that is love, acceptance, support for yourself. It's the part of you constantly connected to the divine and your spiritual team. The part of you that always remembers and knows how loved you are and how much you deserve the abundance, love, support, health, happiness in the universe. Watch in the mirror as your higher self spreads their energy into every portion of your body, feeling their strongest connection at your heart center. This is a connection that can never be disconnected or removed. And as they're really anchoring in within you, Look at yourself in the mirror now and say to your image, either out loud or in your head, I love you. I am perfect as I am. I am loving. I am lovable. I am loved. And just breathe and visualize and feel that love within you coming from the divine, it's coming from yourself to you. And you can do this practice anytime. Your, infant, your higher self has infinite patience and love to help you 24 hours a day. You just have to allow them. If you feel like you want to connect your higher self Beyond this meditation, one method is to close your eyes, put your focus and awareness in your heart center, and state, I connect to my higher self now. Just breathing for a few moments there, where you can ask your higher self for what you need, whether it's guidance or even just a calm moment of reconnection. And we thank your guardian angel, your higher self, as your angel removes the mirror now. And we call upon Archangel Metatron to join us now. As he comes in with his energy, golden orange, strong sun energy, he's here to keep your heart open, full of your own love, self-compassion, allowing it to be an open vessel to the divine, allowing that divine love to flood into you, heart and soul. He's lifting off any remaining defense systems or shields, anything that may be blocking your inner light. 
They may be outer in your aura, projected from your heart, or they may be a little bit lower than the heart. He's just lifting them off now, like he's removing a wall that's no longer needed, taking away defenses that don't let our inner light shine. And as he removes them, doesn't mean you're defenseless. It just means you're not blocking all the goodness and the love available to you. And as he removes the last of them into the fires of transmutation, he then directs a column of his golden sunlit orange energy from source that high central sun bringing it down through you, through your upper chakras, through your core, core of your body, down through your feet into Mother Earth. This shaft of golden light expands into your aura. Just bask in this beautiful ray of divine golden orange energy. It's just reconnecting you, enhancing your own inner light, connecting you to source above, going into the earth beneath you, grounding you, just helping you walk Mother Earth as a fully illumined, light being who expands the hearts of others just by emanating their own light. You are a master in this lifetime and you are now ready for new adventures, new love and walking the path of your life purpose. We thank the Archangels, Metatron, Shamuel, Raziel, their helper angels. We thank Jesus, your own guardian angel, higher self. We thank them all for coming today to heal and clear our hearts. And they're ready to come again. If you feel the need, if the negative emotions come up, they'll come to keep clearing the many depths and layers of our hearts. And each time you will go lighter, you'll feel lighter as they go deeper. Their message is, the way forward for humanity is with open hearts, with honesty, integrity, and treat others as you would treat yourself and treat yourself the best of all. Now taking a deep inhalation and exhalation. Just start to come back into your physical body to the awareness. Feeling where you're lying down on the seat you're on, bringing your awareness back to the room. You can start to move any fingers or toes, gently moving your head as your guardian angel pulls your roots down, grounding you back into the here and now while still being connected. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes and have a beautiful day or night ahead. And just know you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. Blessings to you all.